Welcome to HKB. Today on the channel, we're having a little look at the upcoming release of A Chilly Laugh Story, which has been put on UK cinemas by Trinity Cine Asia. The UK release date of Chilly Laugh Story is Friday the 15th of July and it will be shown in the following cities Birmingham, Bristol, Edinburgh, London, Manchester, Nottingham, Reading, Sheffield and Southampton so if you live in one of these cities or close by, then you've got a golden opportunity to go and see this one. Here is the synopsis of A Chilly Laugh Story, courtesy of Cine Asia. The Cobra, work from home, has led to a daily cage match with his family. When he inadvertently learns that his mother's homemade chilli sauce is a hit with his co-workers, he convinces his family to turn the chilli sauce into an online business. The family's daily tugs of war soon becomes even spicier than the chilli sauce. Their long hidden conflicts are on the verge of erupting. So, A Chilli Laugh Story is directed by Kelba Cheng. And it's quite an interesting story how he came about to direct this one with him being a first time director. He actually met Sandra Ng during a meal at a restaurant and they both got chatting and talking about what they did during lockdown. Koba related his story about how he and his family started making a chilli sauce and made a bit of a business out of it. Uh, Sandra was enamoured with the story and invited Koba to a meeting with her partner Peter Chan and scriptwriter Matt Chow. They all quizzed Koba and were really impressed with what he had to say and decided that they wanted to make the story into a movie. And they even offered him the job of directing. And here we are, we have a Chilly Laugh Story. Chilly Laugh Story has a great cast, doesn't it? It certainly does. In this one, we have Ronald Cheng, who plays the father, and he's a barrel of laughs in this. I really like his comedy timing, it's mm. par excellence. Playing his wife and a mother is HKB favorite Gigi Leung, who um, we've covered in the channel before on La Brassiere and Full Throttle. Big fans of Gigi here. And playing Cobra is newcomer Eden Loy. And he's very, very good in this. I believe he's just had a bit of TV work before. This is his first film role. But, you know, keep an eye open for him because he's very, very good. And of course, the producer who put all this into action, Sandra Ng, who, again, she's, you know, always great. Mm. Her comedy timing, you know, is there anybody better? I think she's absolutely awesome. And dra dramatic beats she comes up with in this, yeah. very, very good. Stop, stop, Leon, stop. You didn't tell them about the scene that's a throwback to Inspectors Wear Skirts. That's right, folks. I was set out here deliberating and I thought, there's a scene in this film and it is very definitely a throwback to the Inspectors Wear Skirts. The scene in question has Sandra Ng in it. And this film also has Sandra Ng in a scene that replicates that scene. We really like that. It's really cool to see one of our earlier films reference. But let's just say this time round, Sandra gets the upper hand. <sighs> so this film was absolutely hysterical, wasn't it, Shaz? It truly was. Laughed out loud so much. Yeah, we were proper chuckling all the way through this. I mean, every 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 other scene was making us laugh. I mean, oh, oh, fantastic. You know, if you like a good Hong Kong comedy, then, you know, you can't do much better than watching this. There's also some nice, you know, drama touches throughout it, aren't there? The bit with Sandra Ng's side story. I thought that was really, really touching. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason why Sandra Ng is one of our favorite actresses, as we've shown on the channel before. And not only is, is her comic timing impeccable, but she's got really good acting chops. And you know, there's, like you say, in the side story in this, she really gets a chance mm. to demonstrate it. Mm. So this film works on many levels. You've got the hilarious comedy, you've got the fantastic family drama going on. Mm. You know, there's so much to recommend this one. And there was um, a scene that brought back some painful memories. I knew you was gonna mention that. <laughs> there is one particularly, hysterical scene in this film which did make us laugh but also 
kind of brought back a traumatic memory for me. Um, what happens? A funny memory, <laughs> in hindsight. <laughs> what? Yeah. What happens to one of the characters in this happened to me on a date night. So when you get to see this, if you work it out, perhaps shoot us a comment. I'm sure one or two of you will suss it out pretty quickly. <laughs> But yeah, it's a great scene in the film, isn't it? Absolutely love that one. And we'd recommend when you go to cinema to see this, stay till the very end of the credits because there's some cameos popping up, aren't there? Yeah, fantastic cameos. Um, you know, one, one or two of them might have HKB favourites in there, I'd say. Maybe, maybe. I have a see, look. Yeah, see. don't miss out. Stay to the very end. And um, the film was intended to be a New Year film, but unfortunately got put back to now because of Covid, wasn't it? Yeah, which was unfortunate, but at least we all get to experience get to, it now. see it now. Which is great. So, what's your score for Chili Laugh Story? <laughs> Chili Laugh Story for me gets two thumbs up, 8.5 out of 10. I had a blast with this one, Chaz. Well, I really enjoyed this so much, so I'm scoring it 9 out of 10. So there you go folks, this is a really high recommendation from the both of us. We really, really enjoyed this one and we really recommend if you get opportunity to see this one, go and get the tickets. Go on, off you go, go and buy your tickets now. And just to let our friends in the US and Canada know, you don't have to wait too much longer. It's out on the 22nd of July with you guys. Yes, we hope you enjoyed this little review and we know you'll enjoy the film when you get a chance to see it. Thanks to the guys at Trinity Cine Asia for sending us the screener for this one. We both really appreciate it and we enjoyed working on this one an awful lot and the film was fantastic. So we really enjoyed this one, we hope you enjoyed our review and we look forward to seeing you guys next time.